morning everybody hey what's up you guys it is thursday may 24th and it is red nose day and that explains this little thing right here on my nose if you are not sure what world <clears throat> what red nose day is about it's about every time you buy one of these i think we spent a dollar or dollar fifty so every time you buy a red nose it goes to it goes to feeding let me take this off it goes to feeding a child so I hope you guys went out and got yourself one. And if you did not go out and get yourself a red nose next year, please go out and get yourself a red nose because we have hungry children here in the United States as well as everywhere else in the world. But we have to take care of home base. Also, we have hungry children all over the United States. And this this little nose helps to feed a child. So if you did not buy one this year, you guys, please make sure you buy one next year. They're only like a dollar or two. Um, or if you're one of those people who donate at the charities that um, go to the food banks, then that's just as good as also. I was going to wear this thing through the entire video, but <clears throat> I can't breathe in it. So, you know, <laughs> there's that. So, yeah, I was going to try to read through the video. I don't think so. My nose is kind of fat. I have a pudgy nose. So, I don't know if I'm going to make it through the entire video with my, my red nose on. So, like I did tell you guys, it is Thursday, which means we are still here for some tea. I just wanted to make sure I brought some awareness to this little red nose right here. So, first of all, let's talk about the fact that T.I. got arrested last weekend in front of his own apartment here in Atlanta. He came home at 4 o'clock in the morning and the security guard was sleeping. And of course, if you pay a bunch of money to live in a gated community or to live at a guarded community, you expect everything to work properly and you expect your guards to be up. Now, listen, I get it. You know, the human body sometimes will just, you know, go to sleep. But if you know that you're an overnight guard, you should probably get all your sleep done during the day so that at night you're ready to go. And this guy was not ready to go. T.I. came home. He refused to let T.I. in. T.I. had forgot his key. So he called up to the house where Tiny was. And Tiny was like, yes, that's my husband. You let him in. And the guy was disrespectful to Tiny too. But eventually he let T.I. in. And T.I., where I think the mistake probably was made, T.I. came back down to the guard gate because he wanted to talk to the guy. He wanted the guy's name. He wanted his badge number. He wanted to express to him that that was inappropriate to be sleeping at the gate and to be disrespectful to his wife. And T.I. just went on this rampage about how the guy worked for him and you couldn't. Like, he was just like, you can't avoid me, sir. You can't avoid me. I pay you. You know, the people that live in this community pay you. You have no right to be sitting at the gate sleeping. And the guy, of course, he didn't want to talk to T.I. or step outside of the guard gate to have a conversation. He told to call the police. And the police arrested T.I. And we have some footage. Well, we don't have any footage. I couldn't actually find the footage. Um, TMZ has it. So I'll link TMZ in the description so that you guys can go watch the footage from the actual police station of T.I. asking what did he do wrong and the cop telling him that he was acting a fool and see i was saying i wasn't acting a fool i wasn't acting a fool he was disrespectful and i pay this man to protect my community and he's sleeping i wasn't acting a fool eventually t i got out the next morning and he went home and we are still waiting for updates of that but now that we're talking about t i and we're on the, we're on the topic of him we are now boycotting houston's again now i've never been to houston's so this ain't no big thing for me to be boycotting, you know what I mean? But we just had, like, well, we, as the community, just had one a few months ago with Houston's because of their, like, the way they treated black people that came into the store. And there was a big boycott, and it was for about a month and a half, and Houston's lost a lot of money without us, without the black community going into the store. So here we are again, Houston's. And there's an African-American girl in the bathroom trying to get herself together or whatever. And the security guard pulls her out of the bathroom. They say that she was trespassing after store hours. But you always, I worked in restaurants. You always have lingerers, you know, especially if they've been drinking. They may go into the bathroom to try to like just sober themselves up. Like it's not like the girl was trying to stay the night in Houston's. I can't. I don't see that being a thing. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing going on. And they're like, she was trespassing. And in my head, I'm like, dude, I worked at restaurants where if people drank too much, they would go into the bathroom, pee, try to get themselves together. Yeah, it's probably after store hours, but there was definitely a better way to get her out. Instead of yanking her out, 
holding her down. And then because she was resisting, because the guy that was doing it was a um, security guard at that time, but he was also an off-duty cop. So because she was resisting and kind of like flailing back, she was sent to jail for assaulting a police officer. And for me, that's just too much. There, There's definitely a better way to get people out of your store after hours. Going into the bathroom and saying, hey, we're closed. We're going to need you to go ahead and leave is number one. Not walking into the woman's bathroom and yanking her out and then flailing her around. It was way too much. It was way too aggressive for this woman to be handled by that man that way just because she was in the bathroom after hours. She could have had just finished her food up. You know, people linger. I mean that when I say it. People linger. They just linger. It's after store hours. Store closes at 11. It's 11.15 and people are just giving you their plates. People linger. It happens in the restaurant business and it doesn't give you any right to go around flailing people around just because you feel as though she was wrong. There's better ways to handle that stuff. I don't know. We're still waiting for the rest of that story to come out too. So T.I. is now boycotting Houston's again. He already had done it. He got the community together with some other celebrities. Jandy Smith had came down. Of course, um, Tiny was down here. Ken. There was a lot of people here boycotting Houston's. And it had, I thought it had made an impact when Miss Deb and Mama D went into Houston's to have a conversation and it had ended it, but it clearly didn't work. Houston's did and said as a company what they needed to do and say to get that black dollar back. So as far as I'm concerned, like I said, I've never been to Houston, so I don't care. I don't care about none of it. Yesterday on TMZ, which I again I'll link in the bottom, uh, they had caught up with Marlon Wayans, who said F Houston, F their food, F their curly fries, F their steaks, F them. Now I don't know if Houston has curly fries. They say that they don't have curly fries. I don't care. I get Marlon's point. He feels as though we as black people go into these establishments, Starbucks, Houston's, Walmart, Target. Waffle House, and we get treated like trash when really a lot of it is our money that's keeping the machine going. So Marlon said he will not be supporting Houston, and if you're a fan of him, he don't want you supporting Houston. You will not be getting any of this Wayne's money. So I'm going to stay updated with that and see how that goes, and I'll be back with you guys with another Thursday tea as far as that's concerned. Also, <sighs> I wanted to update you guys. This has nothing to do with celebrity news. I wanted to update you guys on the color run. And because I didn't get a chance to over the week. Like, I've been sore, you guys. I just, Jesus. <laughs> and the color run was so good. It was so, so good. And I'm probably going to do it again in September. I'm going to give myself a little bit more time to, like, prepare for it. Uh, a 5K is nothing but, like, three point one miles or 3.2 miles so it's not the craziest thing ever um i wanted to do a 10k but aaron said like, that was six miles so i want to do at least two of these two you know three miles five k's i want to do two and then see if i can like gradually get myself to that point so over the summer i'm going to be climbing stone mountain every time i get an opportunity to get to it i'm going to try to go to amicalola falls they have a whole bunch of like trails and steps and stuff and i'm gonna see how long I can stay out there before I like drive myself crazy and talk myself out of it. But you guys, I'm so proud of myself because I didn't complain and I complained quite a bit when I walked. I did not complain not one time. I didn't really stop. I kind of like slowed down to catch breaths, but I didn't stop. And I finished the race in about an hour. I think we, I didn't even check my time. That's crazy. Like just running across the finish line. I didn't even like take my phone out to check my time. But I'm almost positive I finished it in like an hour. I'm not going to say under an hour because, like I said, I'm not 100% sure. But we left at 1014, and I knew we had been there for about 14 minutes because I have the footage from being there. So I'm going to say we I finished at like 10 o'clock. So I was super-duper proud of myself. I passed some people that had started the race way before me, and being able to pass them and finish before them kind of made me feel good. I mean, it was a fun race. It wasn't about who won or lost. We all got the same little plastic rubber medals. Mine's is in a room somewhere. Um, we all got the same little plastic rubber medals, so it's not like somebody got something over somebody else or some money was made from it. But for me, it was an accomplishment. And that following Monday, I went and ran a little bit around because I just kind of still had that adrenaline, you know? So I went up to my park and I walked around my park a couple of times, like twice, I think. Um, or maybe once. It was getting hot outside. Probably like once, but to walk up where I was is one mile. So I did a mile. 
Um, and then it's been raining ever since, but don't think I'm stopping. I was super proud of myself and I'm going to keep going. So I wanted to update you guys about that too in this video. I will be back later on with another video, you guys. So if you like what I do here, thumbs up, comment down below, hit that bell notification and subscribe to your girl's channel if you want to know what I'm doing all the time. Because Lord, I am so sporadic at this point. I try to set a schedule and I can't stick to it. So, mm. but Thursday tea, we made it. We made it happen. There will not be a um, there will not be a tour moon and back because I have so much editing to do and there's no way I'm going to finish it by Saturday. So this Saturday there will not be a tour moon to the moon and back. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is to have follow up videos for the couples that we do get to see. So I'm going to try to figure that out because I want everybody to get a full sense of their story. We give you one part of the story in the beginning when we tell you how we met and how we fell in love. But there's always a second side to stories. So there will be To the Moon and Back Part 2 for Shirley and Nick. And there will be a To the Moon and Back Part 2 for me and Aaron. And we're going to get a little bit deeper into our relationship and let you guys know how we actually made it to the places that we are. I have a couple of couples coming up for you guys. Like I said, I have to get a lot of editing done. And so probably this Saturday and maybe even next Saturday, depending on how many videos I have to go through, there probably will not be to a moon and back for two Saturdays. But don't worry, it is coming back. Um, I just got a lot of editing to do. I did not expect so many people to come my way. So I have a lot of stuff to do, you guys. And also, later on today, this video will be for 90 Day Fiance. So I love you guys. Like I said, in the beginning, or not in the beginning, if you like these comments, thumbs up. Comments? If you like these videos, thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Love you guys.